so let's do the Punisher here. So with the Punisher, I could just draw a guy with the headband. You know, look straight out of that John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John movie from the 80s. What was that movie called? I had the song Let's Get Physical. Why do I bring uh, browser history? Uh, gotta erase my browser history right after this. Um, two of a kind, two of a videos, and I'm just conflating or confusing a couple things. Anyway, so the Punisher. Getting back to the Punisher. You got to draw the chest, otherwise it doesn't work. Right. Otherwise, it's just a guy that looks like John Travolta in a movie that I'm thinking he was in with John Olivia Newton-John, but I'm not so sure. So maybe it was just really staying alive, I think, right? Because there was... Sad is not good. And it had more of the, the headband stuff in it where John Travolta is trying to make a career as a uh, dancer. A legit dancer. I want to give him an AR-15 with a suppressor. That looks like an M16 of some sort. All right. Um, he was the guy. Was, I think he was always telling um, the uh, the uh, Tom Cruise character, "Look, you know." If, you got, to, you got to be able to say F it, you know. You're not going to get anywhere in life if you can't say F it, you know, because he recognized that Tom Cruise's character was too uptight and kind of held back by his middle-class upbringing. And uh, Tom Cruise basically learns the ability to say F it, breaks out of his shell, and then gets... But just think of how wildly inappropriate that, that in itself is especially in today's day and age and so um there's all sorts of stuff from the 80s movies very inappropriate porkies revenge of the nerds i mean anyway so curtis armstrong was on the same flight and that was pretty kind of a cool flashback um because i remember watching him in the movies and actually that's kind of one of the interesting things about these if you go to any conventions <coughs> other than San Diego Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con, you're going to get um, stars that are big now doing appearances. But if you do any of these other smaller shows, you're going to get uh, stars of yesteryear. And um, it's interesting kind of meeting the stars that uh, some of the very first shows that I went to, like New York, I met uh, the actor. What was his name? can't remember, but he basically played Dr. Smith in Lost in Space, if any of you guys even know what Lost in Space is. It's a very old sci-fi show with this robot and Bill Mooney. And that was so cool. I loved that show as a kid. You know, even meeting Carrie Fisher at the time, uh, many years ago, um, this is before any other reboots or, or the relaunch of the Star Wars universe, so she was really just writing books at the time. And, you know, she was on sort of Creator's Alley, excuse me, signing photographs and stuff. And the the con organizer was very kind to kind of just bring me over and introduce me to her. And it's kind of cool to have a conversation. I'd read, I'd read a couple of her books that she had written, very funny books about her life or sort of semi-based on her life. And uh, obviously this is before The Force Awakens and everything kind of blew up again with her. So when I worked on the book, I recognized that, hey, he's not the Punisher unless you can see his chest. And so um, was it me or was it Wills that came up with the idea? Hmm. Score one for dementia and old age, I cannot remember I was gonna claim credit for it, but then I'm like mm, maybe Wills did it first anyway in the uh, the 90s 
while we're working on the book, Wills did a uh, run on, on the Punisher, as did I on Punisher War Journal. We decided to put the skull right here so that if it was just a close-up of him, you still get this kind of cool Punisher vibe. But then if you accept the whole logic behind Batman, criminals to shoot for his chest, and so uh, sort of a subconscious way of protecting himself, right? So they would shoot his chest where he was armored and he would survive the gunshot. So now I'm looking at this bandana logo idea, a little white skull on the black bandana. I don't know, I would think Punisher and Batman would have to sit down and discuss. You know, I'm hesitant to talk about the movie because I just put on this Instagram sort of like, sort of, uh, no, it wasn't even a review because it was just very short. I just kind of talked about some of the stuff I liked about the movie and then it, uh, you know, there's... There's so, so much hunger for information these days. Websites have to fill their pages with co content. It People just sort of copy and pasted that and made it seem like that was like uh, my official press release thoughts about the movie. I mean, I guess there were thoughts about my movie, but it was odd seeing it on like at Screen, screen Rants and other comicbook.com. Um, anyway. All I can say is, in today's day and age, there's so much great content out there, so many options. Um, it always surprises me, sort of the, the vehemence and how oh, people just really like to hate on things. Uh, if you don't like it, you just move on. And if you love it, share. But it's, it seems like people are questioning people's appreciation of a movie like a lot of people love justice league and then people kind of attack those people and make 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 it seem like they're lying or something i don't know it's just this weird thing that's going on i really can't explain it but uh you know i went to the premiere with my wife we had a great time my wife really enjoyed it as well she loved the humor um all the stuff that i liked i mean the stuff i kind of Noted the Ezra Miller scenes were hilarious. Spoilers here if you guys haven't seen it yet, um, you mute this for the next 15 seconds. Um, the Ezra Miller scene, the scene where Aquaman um, sort of shares his internal thoughts, it's hilarious. Um, and I think it was really great to sort of see the characters just kind of hang out and interact. Which is that's you know whatever so. There are other movies that uh, I really enjoyed recently, and I think that no, you know what it was, it was people were saying, well, you work at DC, of course you're gonna love it. And it's like mm, I don't go and share my thoughts about every DC movie, or maybe I do, but not to the same degree. But I enjoy some of the Marvel movies, and. Uh, one of my favorite movies this year was Blade Runner. I've talked about that with you guys a little bit. But that got great reviews. Did not perform that great, which is a bummer because I wanted to see kind of a follow-up, hopefully sequels to it. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Okay, so you can see here with The Punisher, I'm just trying to darken it up a little bit. It looked a little too John Travolta-like to me. And I like my... Uh, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, he's not a vigilante. He's a little more grisly. The Punisher was an interesting character to me because he was a Vietnam War vet that basically broke when his, his kids were kind of killed by the mob. And initially, I think it was by accident. I know there have been variations on it. But then he befriends this kind of 
old dumpy guy, not old, uh, sort of this middle-aged dumpy guy named Microchip, nicknamed Microchip, Chip. And they become this kind of partner, this team. I don't know about you, but I think it would be hard to trust a partner that goes out and kills people, even if it's the, for the right reasons. I would sense, but maybe I'm just, maybe I'm the crazy one. Maybe that's, that's normal. I don't know. What do you guys think? Not much penciling there. If I penciled it more fully, you'd see it kind of come to life. But yeah, at this point, I'm just drawing with the marker. I'm just beefing up areas. I mean, I'm like, I'm not even happy with this yet. I, I feel like these eyes are too big and so I'm kind of blacking out the eyes. Give them kind of dead snake eyes. It's still like a little too John Travolta staying alive. Happy go lucky. I could be a model if I wanted to, but I'm going to go kill people because I'm traumatized instead with this old tech, IT tech guy. The Punisher today, if he were a book, a new character, he'd have this big grisly beard at this point, right? He'd look like the Unabomber. He'd have a hoodie. He would look like a guy that had not slept. And uh, I want to give him a hoodie. I feel like that would be, I don't know, it just feels more appropriate. No, it's just got this BS. I'm going to say BS because they're just made up. These. What's it called? I'm sure there's a name for it. See, why can't I remember this stuff, which is important, I think, and just get rid of staying alive? It's the stuff that connects like a rucksack. What are they called? The handles. Actually, I knew he would have the answer. Webbing. Yes. All right. The military is all about acronyms and jargon. They're not going to call it fearsome enough. Dude, you're wet. That was my acting right there. How do you like them? Okay, I'll get back to what I do better. Sorry. That was a mistake. I, I, I attribute it to fatigue. Hmm. I, I uh, was on a TV show once. I played myself. And can I tell you, even playing myself, I effed it up pretty badly. I'm, I am not an actor. So that's when people go like, hey, are you ever going to do a cameo? Like, that is the most terrifying thing. I'm actually better at PUBG than I am at acting. So that just goes to show how Bruce Lee... It only took like... All right, let's get back to finishing this up. Why does the Punisher have white gloves? They just might. I have the door closed, but even with the headphones on, I can hear them. What are you making? What can I expect? If I go to your house for dinner, what can I expect? Oh, I can do that, I guess. Why, Frank Castle, do you have white gloves? Where do you buy white gloves? The men's section at Macy's? No. Oh, I'm buying these for my wife. Detective on the case. We have the sketch of the Punisher. He's got white gloves. Look for a man that's buying white gloves that uh, fit his hands. Because if, if they fit, he will not be acquitted. Right? Duh! I want to see that as an episode on Netflix. Speaking of jokes, I do try to be... Oh, crap. Um, you guys are throwing me off my game. I'm blaming you guys. The sketch would be better. 
being distracted by chat. Um, if you go to a panel like at Comic Con, with, like with the actual audience there, I do try to be a little sillier. It's a lot harder when you're home by yourself wearing headphones, so you sound like you're perpetually stuffed up and have a cold. To be amusing, you, you feel a little crazy, like you're a vigilante that's looking for a mild-mannered IT guy to partner up with in his war against crime. Can you imagine Frank Castle comes back after like a day of like avenging, taking out mobsters? Microchip, are you playing Angry Birds again? What the F, dude? I told you I wanted some info on this guy. I mean, seriously. You can't fight crime. You gotta be dedicated. That's what I hear from all the people I know that fight crime. He's eating Hot Pockets. That's right. He's eating Hot Pockets. Hey, Frank, your white gloves are in. You know what? That's the way to do it. He wouldn't buy it. He had chipped by the white gloves. Duh. How did I know? How did I know? If you add a L-Y, you don't think about you just take for... Look, the whole idea of even putting on a costume, bright colored costume to go fight crime, it's something as a kid, like, that's why comics were per perceived as a kid's medium. Like, adults back, they were adulting back in the, the day. You know, you have people my age playing PUBG, and uh, they, they didn't do that back in the day. They were real men and women you know, uh, as a kid growing up, like, 30 seemed like the end of the road. Like, 30, like, oh my God, life's over, dude. But now you have people in their 40s and 50s, and I see them, like, skateboarding on the streets, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm sure that's perfectly normal. But even at, like, gaming, at my age, I'm like, this seems really... I should, you know, instead I'm arguing with people online about, you know, Olivia Newton-John movies and talking about my theories on white gloves and vigilantes. I'm like, we're in prolonged adolescence. I have been for quite a while. You know, it's normal for 40-year-old men to dress up as superheroes with their kids. When I was in Houston, they're a very active um, Facebook group, um, probably of people in their 40s. All right, so you can see I'm, I'm, I'm inking pretty loosely. It's the Punisher. If there's a character to ink loosely with, it's the Punisher. <coughs> Excuse me. I seem to be slightly congested from my flight. Dry air on the plane, maybe? I don't know. Shaking hands with uh, bacteria and viruses or, that have been incubating after uh, might be jumping around from person to person. Possibly, possibly. Right? Isn't that what like, killed a bunch of African natives, people on Easter Island, American Indians, right? People with germs and contagions from other parts of the world that their body didn't have antibodies to. I don't think you get sick from the wear and tear travel. I think you get sick from weird microbes that you're, don't exist in where you live. That's why kids all get sick when they go back to school, because they're basically in contact with all these other kids that 
they normally aren't in contact with, the bodies aren't used to it. This is the important stuff that should be in my head. Working again, just sort of fading off into the sunset. That'd be crazy. So with this prolonged adolescence, um, you know, 60 is like the new 30 or something like that. At least that's what I like to tell myself. I think I heard something. It's Bob. It's just Bob. Subscribe. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a little darker. Yeah, I'm going to go darker. I'm going to go to 11 on the darkness scale right here. Hit up this webbing. Make it super exciting. Some cheer. Thank you. I f <laughs> Oh my gosh. Someone share some knowledge, please. It would be great if you guys saw that and just tell me and save me this some aggravation here, but all right, let's figure this out. What am I going to do? I'm going to readjust. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Guess what? It's all going to go to black. Yes. I noticed, but I didn't dare tell you. You're not hurting my feelings, dude. It's not like, go like, he's lost it. Did you just see his recent Twitch stream? One arm shorter than the other dude. The guy's lost it. Oh, let's go, let's go out skateboarding. Okay, brah. <laughs> lost all talent. It would be lost remaining talent. Crispy. Da 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 da. True, inking goes faster if you whistle. I have heard. That's what Scott Williams told me. Dude, what's the secret to inking? If you whistle, it's A, both more enjoyable, and B, it goes faster. Okay, I'm going to do this. Just FYI, this was the plan all along. I just wanted to walk you through my thinking. Right. There. Is he holding two duffel bags? What does that mean? Days. Not sure what 
shit with that. I feel like I'm jumping into a conversation I shouldn't have jumped into. Sorry. I don't even think that line's the same angle. The slopes are not equivalent. Okay, that looks about right. Okay. All right, let's... Um, this point I mean I could probably spend a little more time and effort on the webbing the backpack straps as you guys like to call it those not in the know like me and Russell I'm going to stream after I've flown cross country or halfway across the country I feel like this is more engaging it's it's definitely funner funnier So I'm going to just quick tutorial bullet holes. Light sources at the top so that the underside of the bullet holes are going to have the shadows and then the impact point of the bullet itself. And then these are all basically um, plaster or whatever material sort of breaking. All right? And then if they break close to each other, they actually start connecting up and forming kind of patterns like this, right? Like broken glass. But the trick is to put the, the shadows underneath the top parts. Okay. That makes sense. All right. And then you just uh, take a little marker and just drop it in there. Are you an art director in real life? Let me ask. Are you a manager of people? I don't know why I ask. But. There we go. Twenty minutes to do. Um, Stroke. Right. Okay. scene, right? 